Well, I think I think a really important thing about art is that it's always been, you know, the 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 driving force of of any movement. You know, you always throughout time you always have the art reflecting the times that it's in and and, and the 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 important messages that it that it carries through um, important movements and and I feel really grateful but also like I, I'm very aware of the responsibility as an artist to 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 um, to to bring that forward in terms of of you know the, the the relationship with the police that you like you were asking like we can't stay stuck in old ways that are that are not favorable to everyone and and there needs to be in my opinion, a reform and and like there needs to be a, a cease in the abuse of power, and um, I think like people are just are just fed up, you know. And I think what's what's great about our generation is we have tools that never existed before to 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 make a change. I hope it's significant. And I hope it's it's long lasting and, and it eradicates like any discriminative narrative that have, that has existed for for since the beginning. Like for, for way too long, and every individual has a responsibility to make their um, to make our generation better, you know. And and um, the 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 abuse of, of power needs to needs to stop. People are fed up. Like for me, I'm a very sensitive person, and 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 things hit me like really really hard. So to be able to have that outlet for me personally is is just individually it, it, that's my outlet and, and to be able to um to express my feelings through my music is 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 amazing but the fact that that can inspire other people is, is incredibly humbling and um i just hope that this doesn't this isn't it's not just a trend and it's not something that stops once people are, are tired of fighting and and i I think what's cool, like I've been seeing on social media, is that there's there's constantly reminders. You know, like people are trying to people are trying to, make, you know, make it a trend and, and something that they forget about. But then there's constantly reminders, like oh, like did you sign that petition today? Did you did you did you donate? Did you did you you know share information that's valuable and that that'll be educational to other people around you, to your followers? So I hope that you know everybody realizes that responsibility. What I think. What I'm noticing too is just the, the the divide in this country that's so alarming, you know, because people are just so angry, and people don't want to. And, and this anger, to me, it's it's detrimental because people aren't having conversations. And I don't think that I don't. I think without without conversations and respectful conversations, like we're not gonna solve. Like a lot of things won't be solved. And there's people that are stuck in their ways because they were brought up a certain way, and they, and and. They were taught certain things, and 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 um, I think with all of the anger that is and turmoil right now, like I don't like there aren't going to be minds that are cha- like certain minds that are changed, and 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 I think that that that's what will bring real change as well is people you know trying to trying to have these conversations even if they're uncomfortable, and 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 understand why certain people think certain ways, you know, and and um, right now it's just very like knives out. I'm right. You're wrong. I don't want to hear it, and and it's just very angry. And um, and I know that that's ve- that's obviously easier said than done. But um, I think these conversations need to. I think people just need to kind of like put their ego aside and, and just like sit down and be like, why do you think this way? Don't you think? Don't you think this this and this and that? And and I think that's what frustrates me too is people so stuck in their ways that they refuse to just kind of like open their minds up a little bit to to to. to to admit that there's something wrong with the way that they're thinking. And then to them, it's like, well, why, why would you say there's something wrong to the way I'm thinking, you know, because this is what I know is right. Very important times. And this is so, I think this is it's about time that, that this happened. You know, me moving, I moved to the States when I was 16 and um, I didn't, I was, and when I moved, I moved to Miami and I finished my last two years of high school in Miami. So Miami is like its own little its own little bubble, I would say, because it's a melting pot of so many, you know, different Latin American countries, and it's like it's it's its own melting pot. But it's not until I moved to Boston that I really understood and was the 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 the, the injustice and segregation, the racial injustice and segregation that exists in this country was brought to light for me when I got to Boston for college, and um and it was it was very 
I mean, it was extremely eye-opening, especially when you when you're when you're overseas. You know, you always think of the U.S. as this like place that has it all figured out and everything is so advanced and then and, and like it's just way ahead of the than the rest of the world and then and then when I came here and I was like yo this is crazy like for, I was like why are these why are these people talking like everything everything is black and white everything is black and white I didn't really understand it and then you know I had to I had to learn and 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 um understand you know that everything I had to understand everything about about the segregation in this country and and it, and it was extremely eye-opening and and um and i think that it's about time you know i remember marching back in in 2015 and 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 it's like there's there hasn't been change so it's about time that you know you need you need the fire i guess to 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 really bring that 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 change so i don't know it's um i just hope that I just hope that that um, the newer generation just takes that responsibility very seriously, um, myself included, to to really bring about and 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 create a a world and a country that you know everybody's treated equally, and and the only thing that separates us and that like, doesn't make us you know want to be together is like different personalities, you know. Not everybody can click. That's fine. Not everybody has the same personality. Not everybody's personality can match. But I think that should be the only thing that makes people not, you know, hang out or like be together. Like I don't know. <laughs>